Now back home, new developments on a story we first brought you as breaking news at 430. New Britain based Stag Arms today announcing the company is going to Wyoming by the end of the year. And tonight we're going beyond the headlines, speaking to a former employee. Channel 3's Matthew Campbell is live from New Britain. And Matthew, he says the writing has been on the wall for months. Yeah, Aaron, you know, talking with this former manager, he says that the impact on the Connecticut uh, workforce happened much earlier than today. Stag Arms started as a family-owned company in 2003. They're best known for making the left-handed sporting rifle. In 2014, the company had their federal license revoked after hundreds of semi-automatic rifles were improperly registered or not registered at all. By 2016, Stag was sold to investment company White Wolf Capital. At that time, this manager, who did not want to be identified, says gun companies were seen as a great investment because of fears that firearm laws would be tightened. Obama was the best gun salesman. And we lost that when Trump won. This former manager says when White Wolf took over, there were 70 to 75 employees. After the election, business got bad. It was going to be inevitable that something was going to happen major. That someday was June of this year when Stag announced they were leaving the state. Laid off the entire production team. I believe they laid off our graphic design department without telling anyone, without notice then it just one by one, accounting, and then sales was the last to go. He says today there are only three people working in this New Britain office. To his knowledge, the former manager doesn't know of any relocation offers or severance packages. It wasn't about the workers. You know, we, we all lived around the area. It was about the money. He feels the frustration of doing business in Connecticut could be seen in White Wolf's statement. The company's founder writes, quote, Wyoming is an incredibly hospitable place to do business. It is also a top destination for outdoor recreation, including hunting and shooting sports, which reflect its citizens' unwavering support for the Second Amendment. This former manager says he feels like the roots of the company, the family atmosphere, is gone. It was what's more convenient for them, I believe, in my opinion, on uh, taxes. So another business packs up and leaves the state. We reached out to Mayor Aaron Stewart to see if there's any indication on what's going to fill this space. We also reached out to Stag to see if there's going to be any relocation or any uh, other sorts of benefits offered. We have not heard back from either. That's the latest live here in New Britain. Matthew Campbell, Channel Thirteen News.